Hi everybody, Rose Ward here, Stampers Delight, stampersdelight.com. Welcome to Whatever Wednesday. Just a quick little video since I missed my tips and tricks for Tuesday because I had my class. So we'll move to Whatever Wednesday. Just a quick video I wanted to show you um, because everybody seems to forget how to use their stamp pads. Now these are both the old style, okay? Um, it doesn't matter what what uh, style they are. This is the new style. This is real red. But for today's video, I'm just going to show you the cherry cobbler. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is the way to stamp with your stamps in the different ink pads. This one is an old one. It's the old felt style. Okay, so we'll just open that up. This is the newer pad. Okay, the foam style, even though the casing is the older style, which we don't have anymore. This is still the foam pad that you would get if you bought the slim case, okay? So what I tell my girls when they come to the class, it's very simple, okay? Regardless of whether it's foam, wood, or poly, uh, photopolymer, if you have the old style, and we'll move that over here, the old um, felt pads, okay? They're a little harder. So it's okay to tap, tap, tap. It's okay to twist a little bit, do a little shout and twist there okay and then you want to stamp it and you'll get a good image there you go with the newer foam pads they're very juicy and you don't want to squish 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 you don't want to twist 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 okay that's the best way I can explain it you just want to tap, tap, tap. No no twisting and turning with the new style, okay? You're just going to tap. No pushing down, just tapping. And again, you're just going to stamp. Press it down, and there you go. Both images come out fine. This one's a little darker because it is juicier. It's a brand new pad, okay? The other thing I want to tell you, okay, is actually show you. Um, let me grab a scrap piece here. I want to do it wrong so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And I should have a piece of scrap paper here. Yeah, it's not white, but that's okay. It'll do. So this is what's going to happen. I'll bring this back in. If you squish into the new pad, squish, okay? This is what's going to happen. Well, actually, that came out pretty good, but it actually it didn't. If you really look up close to it, and I'll bring these back in, it's a little muddled. The edges aren't as crisp and clear. This kind of stamp, you know, it does come out okay most of the time, but when you get to like a saying, and let me just grab one of my sayings. If you press that, let me just grab one of these blocks. If you take that saying, okay, and again, this one you can twist and shout, twist and turn, and it's going to be all right. But again, if you take the newer, juicier pads and you push that too hard in here, look at all the ink that you get on there. And then you get muddled words and you also might get some uh, edges on there. So again, just to be clear, look at your pads, new foam pads. Tap, 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 and stamp. As easy as that. The old ones, you can tap, 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 because that usually works. But if it's light because it's an old one like this, you can twist it a bit, and it'll still be okay. You just don't want to press too deep and twist and turn on the new pads. Okay, so that's my little tip for whatever Wednesday. And as you can see, I'm playing with the Spirited Snowmen. And that's for my Facebook Friday Live at 7 a.m. So I hope you tune in then. And have a great night. Bye.